Hi, I'm Sally Van Cura, and we're here with Kate Hall, the director of the new Lenox Library, and she's ready to tell us all the things happening at the library. Hi, Kate. Hi, Sally. How are you? Good. So what's going on? Oh, we have a lot going on at the library. And first, I want to remind everyone that the library is now open an additional eight hours a week. We're now open on Fridays from 10 to 6 and have been since September, which we are very excited about because now that means that we can give access to the residents um, for those additional eight hours every week, which has been which has been wonderful. So, so if you haven't stopped in, we're here on Fridays now. I didn't know that. That's good to know. That is good to know. Um, and of course, we have a lot of programming happening. You know, during this time of year when winter it's so icky outside, you can't go to the park. You can't really. You don't want to leave your house. But we have some really fun stuff that I think people will enjoy if they uh, are willing to leave the comfort of their warm homes and make the trek out to the library. Into uh, the comfortable library. Into right? the comfortable <laughs> library. Exactly. Um, we. We have some great stuff for kids. Of course, we have um, a staple of libraries, which is all of our programming um, for children, our story times. We have story times all the way down from babies all the way up through um, five-year-olds. It's, it's a great way to get out of the house, especially if you're home with the kids and they're climbing the walls. Bring them to the library. They can go to story time. Then afterwards, we have some great puzzles and blocks and great computers that they can play on, and, and it'll get you out of the house so that you're not pulling out your hair. <laughs> <laughs> Good to keep them busy. Good to keep them busy, yes. Kate, do you have anything for school-age kids? Oh, we have a ton of great programs for school-age kids. Um, one of the most popular ones is our Lego Creation Station Club, where once a month kids can come in. We have a ton of Legos that we put out, and they build just amazing creations out of them. Uh, it amazes me how creative kids are and the things that they come up with to build. Um, and then after the program, we put them on display in the library for people to come and look at all month long, which is so much fun. Um, and in, in addition, we also have something that is very near and dear to my heart, being Irish. We have our St. Patrick's Day party coming up in March, which... <laughs> It's time to celebrate, right? Uh, right. I mean, come on. Doesn't everyone want to be Irish? So um, we're very much looking forward to that. And, um, you know, we we have lots of other great programs for school-age kids. We have a very special program celebrating Mo Williams, who's a popular children's author. He wrote the uh, Pigeon Books, which are very funny and I've read the pe pigeon books to my grandsons, yeah. And there's so much fun. And so we're having a I Heart Mo Williams party, which... When's that? That is February 18th, and it is going to be a blast. So if you if you like Mo Williams, you're mm -hmm. not going to want to miss it. Maybe you could bring your grandson. I, I'm going to be there. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Okay, now what about the teenagers? That's a tough one. That is a tough one, and we, um, you know, we really want to offer some great stuff for teens because oftentimes they don't have a lot of options for places to go and hang out and do fun stuff. So we've really beefed up our teen programming. Um, we recently had a finger knitting class that they could come to where you knit with your fingers. I can't do it, but the teens loved it. And coming up on February 28th, we're going to be doing a finger crocheting class, which is going to be I think just as much fun and a lot of the teens are very excited to come and do that. Um, another really popular book series, The Hunger Games, is coming um, into theaters. They made a movie out of it and we're having a Hunger Games party where we're going to pit kids against each other in a very non-violent way, of course, oh, at of the course. library. But, but it's going to be a lot of fun. So kids that like that are going to be able to come on um, March 17th. Now that's the teenage? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. For young adults, as we call them in the library, and <laughs> um, and and we also just started our teen advisory board. So so if there are teens in the community who want to get involved with the library or who need service hours, they can come to our meetings and let us know what they would like from the library because we really want to hear from them and find out what what would make this a better library for teens because they don't have a lot of places to go and we want to make sure that we're being as welcoming as possible and offering them the books and the programs and the movies and that they want so so we're very excited to be starting that and um, another great idea another great idea and you know it's always good to get feedback from people because of course it's been a few years since I've been a teenager <laughs> and um, and while I might think I know it's great to be able to actually ask the teens. So, um, 
So look forward to seeing some more cool stuff once we get that going and hear from them about what types of things they would like us to have. Okay, now what about the adults? Oh, we have some really fun stuff for adults. Of course, we have a lot of things that happen on an ongoing basis. We have our fiber arts group, which meets um, every month. And what they do is it gives people a chance to come together if you like knitting, crocheting, embroidery, whatever type of fiber okay. you like to work with. Using people, their fingers or not. <laughs> using their fingers, exactly. Using their fingers or not. And um, gives people a chance to come together, trade ideas, and then work on projects together. Um, we also have a writer's group that meets once a month. And that is great. If you're an aspiring writer or even if you're a published author, um, you can come and trade ideas and get some you know, feedback from other people that are looking to write as well. Uh, we have several book discussion groups. Um, and, and you can find out each month we have a different book. You can call the library to find out what the books are and then come and talk about your favorite literature. Um, or sometimes it's not always literature, but, <laughs> but have a really great discussion with other people that have read the book, which is, which is lots of fun. Um, we also have something really exciting for seniors that is coming up uh, once a week starting in February, we're going to be having vintage brain boosters in order to help you sharpen your mind. Um, we have a gentleman. I'm ready for that. <laughs> <laughs> I need it too, and I'm not. Well, you're not old enough yet to be a senior, but in, um, we had a gentleman who will be coming in and will be discussing current events, um, topics of interest with movies and newspaper clippings and, and engaging in a lively debate to help keep your brain sharp. Um, it's going to be a lot of fun and I think we're going to have some pretty spirited discussions on, on lots of interesting different topics. Um, so if you're interested in that, be sure to, be sure to check it out. Um, it's a little bit more fun than just sitting around playing Sudoku. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we also have some great things to help you organize your home. Um, we have one that's the art of no more paper piles. And we have a woman coming in who's going to teach us how to help organize our paper life. Because despite the fact that they said, oh, we're going to be a paperless society by 2000. Well, I don't know about you, but I have an awful lot of paper in my life. <laughs> and so I am so excited about this because she's going to teach us how to quickly make a decision about paper, how to set up a good filing system, and how to handle it so that you're not feeling overwhelmed by the amount of paper that's in your life. So whether for home or work, it's going to be a lot of fun. And that's coming up on March 14th. And it always feels good to be organized. Oh, I know. <laughs> doesn't it? Yes. Doesn't it? It really, it really does. Something else that we, of course, believe in very strongly is not only informing people's minds, but helping them with their health. And so we're very excited on February 29th, we're going to have a program on heart health and how you can keep your heart healthy. Oh, try saying that fast three <laughs> times. <laughs> and so if you'd like to learn how to be healthier, how to protect your heart, um, whether you are 20 or 80, this is going to be something that's really going to help you live a happier, healthier, longer life. Said that very well. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Just don't make me say it fast. <laughs> it, so many great things going on here. Now, I heard you have a special event too. We do have a special event. We're very excited. We have our fourth annual Spring Arts Festival coming up on Saturday, April 28th from 7 to 11 p.m. Okay. Um, it's run by the Friends of the Library. Each year, the Friends group does a fundraiser to help us raise money for different programming and events and equipment um, in order to help supplement the library. It's a wonderful, wonderful event. I know it's a lot of fun. So April 28th, that is. April 28th. And as I like to tell everyone, it's an after hours event. There will be alcohol. <laughs> and it's the only time that you're legally allowed to drink alcohol in the library. We have a silent auction, we have some great entertainers coming, music, a 50-50 raffle, and of course it's just a great time to come out and if you ever wanted to be in the library after hours when no one else is here, it's a really, really fun event. Well, you have so much going on. 
Now, I know a great way to keep up with all these things going on, which is the newsletter. That's right. We have a monthly e-newsletter that comes right to your email box. No paper to file. <laughs> <laughs> and I use this myself with the library. Well, it's great. You can sign up online on our website, newlenoxlibrary.org. Um, all we need is your email address, and you'll be added to our list. And then once a month, you'll get a list of upcoming programs and events and other special news and information about all the great resources at the library. Oh, that's wonderful, Kate. Now, we've heard a lot about the programs. Now, what else does the library have to offer? Well, I'm so glad you asked, Sally, because we have some, of course, wonderful, wonderful things here at the library. Of course, we have a number of books, um, but something I'm very excited about, we have a brand new online database called Career Cruising. And, you know, unfortunately, there's a lot of people out there that are still looking for jobs, and, and we want to help them as much as possible. Um, and so this is a great database that anyone with a library card can access either here in the library or right from your home computer. It gives you access to tips on writing a resume and interview skills. It'll even help you look and see what kind of job do you need to have and, or what, what type of skills do you need to develop if you want to change your, your career path. Um, tons of information that's great for job seekers either looking for a second career or kids that are coming right out of college. Um, you know, I wish that it wasn't something that was so needed, but, but we're so excited to be able to offer this great resource to residents, um, to residents who need it. What a great way to benefit everyone's lives. Yeah. So many wonderful programs. And Kate, thank you so much for presenting them to us. Oh, well, thank you, Sally.